to our Washington correspondent, Guillaume Mayer, for the United States' reaction to the upheaval there. The uh, coup d'etat in Honduras has been denounced across the Americas. Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega has called it an act of terrorism, and Venezuela's Hugo Chavez has blamed it on the Yankee. That's his nickname for North Americans. Guillaume, what's the reaction over there in Washington? Well, obviously, the United States are condemning the coup and asking uh, the military in Honduras to respect international law. Uh, interestingly enough, the language of the statement by the United States says that all parties need to respect democracy and constitutional order. Of course, that's a message to, message to the army in Honduras, but also maybe a message, a message to Zelaya that he needs to respect the constitution of his own country. That means that he cannot change the rules if he wants to be elected for another term. However, the message from the administration officials uh, tonight uh, in Washington is that uh, Zelaya should be able to return to his country and the United States still considers him uh, the official president of his country. Yeah, Guillaume, the U.S. and Honduras have a very close military relationship. There are American troops stationed about 50 kilometers from the Honduran capital. Uh, they even train the country's military. And, of course, the U.S. has a history of involvement in Latin American coups. But perhaps that's rather last century. Is there any feeling there that U.S. interests could be linked to this coup d'etat, either political or financial? Well, the United States are saying they're not involved in, in the coup in any way, and uh, Zelaya himself is actually saying that too, uh, which tends to indicate that the army alone conceived the coup uh, to ask the, ask the president that is really unpopular with the business elite in the upper middle class in Honduras. Now, uh, according to Zelaya, the United States has been trying over the past few days to, to avoid that coup. Uh, the U.S. diplomats in the country, according to Zelaya, have been working with the military to avoid... Uh, the events that that, that 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 happened on Sunday, but apparently the, the diplomats lost contacts with the Honduran army and could not prevent uh, uh, the coup ultimately. Now, uh, in the next few days, the uh, U.S. is probably going to work behind the scenes to try and restore Zelaya to power. How they're going to do that uh, remains a, a question. It, it's going to be extremely hard, especially with the new uh, president already uh, sworn in by parliament.